What's up, Wolfback fam? Hope everyone is doing well today. Suggestion comes from Jake Hansel. Uh, shout out to you, homie. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, we're going to be checking out, um, you know, some Rowan Atkinson, a.k.a. my man's from Mr. Bean, in the Graham Norton show. Let's check it out. What about Mr. Bean now? Have you drawn a line under him? No more Mr. Bean? I, uh, I, you know, I, I doubt that he will reappear, but, um, but, but you never know. You must never... <laughs> The people have spoken. Well, people have spoken. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite. <laughs> uh, they, but you know, you must never say never again. A uh, film, as Jeff mentioned, that I was <laughs> in. Uh, uh, so you, you must never say never. But I, you know, you, the, the, there does come a point when you feel as though you've done most of what you want to do with him. So. And because it's not based on language, because it's so physical, Mr. B. Presumably, it's popular. Everywhere, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is. It, it it has what we might call a global outreach. So, uh, like, yes. to our holidays of misery. Can you go um, anywhere? Uh, uh, well, yeah, I can't go to many places <laughs> where you're <laughs> not recognised. Um, uh, and <laughs> it's the um, yeah. The thing I find most tricky is when people don't recognise you particularly, but half recognise you. You know, it's that strange <laughs> thing where they go. <laughs> and, that, and of course that means they stare. They stare a lot, and they just look. <laughs> you know, you're sort of feeling. I wish that person wouldn't stare at me. So I, you know, I'd rather just you know hold up a flag saying yes, <laughs> yes, it's me. Um, a, a few years ago, there was um, I was in a Land Rover parts department near Peterborough, the kind of place you find me on most yes. Saturdays. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're, we're waiting for car parts. And car parts, you, guys hang around a lot because, you know, to get a part, the guy has to go half a mile to the back of the warehouse and then come back again and he brings it back. And he says, this is, this is a left-hand one. Oh, you wanted a right-hand one. Sorry, I'll go. <laughs> and goes, and it, it takes forever. Anyway, I was standing around with, with a group of guys, and I could see this guy doing that. <laughs> um, and he came up to me after a while, and he said, excuse me, has anyone ever told you <laughs> that yeah. you're the absolute spitting image <laughs> of that Mr. Bean? <laughs> I said, well, actually, I am the actor who plays Mr. Bean. And he said, oh, I, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wish you were. <laughs> and there followed this bizarre conversation in which the more I tried to claim that I was the person <laughs> whom he thought I merely resembled, <laughs> the less he believed me. So he, but what was funny was how was how close he thought I was to, to you know he said the resemblance <laughs> is uncanny. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing any um, you know look-alike work like uh, you know stag nights and head nights you know you can go along as Mr Bean. <laughs> and I said no. And he said because you can make an absolute fortune. <laughs> And I could tell after a while I had to bring the conversation to a close because clearly not only was he not believing me, but he was getting quite annoyed <laughs> you know, that I was pursuing this line of I am Rowan Atkinson when and clearly he thought I was this total arse. <laughs> who, just as I happened to look a bit like yeah, yeah. a Mr. Bean, goes around the country actually claiming to be Mr. Bean. <laughs> what a twat. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great freaking story. Uh, Rowan Atkinson, you are the freaking man. And, and, and you know, I, I didn't really, you don't really think about it too much. Um, but, yeah, just, just imagine yourself being a celebrity. And, and, you know, for me, you know, being that we watch so much stuff, yes, he's very, 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 very recognizable. So I definitely wouldn't be one of those people that is going... <laughs> But I would have loved to be in this car park shop right there, uh, with, you know, just to see the guy just like getting annoyed and shit. So very good story. Uh, definitely a great story uh, to hear on the Graham Norton show. Obviously, there's some other good cast there, but uh, forget them right now. Focuses on Rowan and, um, you know, his work is freaking uh, legendary, uh, you know. It, it, it there's definitely a reason why it appeals you know it definitely it's just comedy that is just going to easily appeal to anyone uh and, and in 2022 right now it is just as funny as it was back then um for me 
uh, you know, being that it's an older show, Mr. Bean, uh, you know, so it's it's wonderful to see that things can still have uh, wonderful longevity. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, man, this Graham Norton show is awesome. He really does have some great guests. And, uh, you know, anything with uh, Rowan, we're going to hopefully do our best to check it out. We got a lot more stuff planned. Um, stay tuned, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoy uh, a lot of these bits uh, in, in the Graham show. It just looks like a great uh, place to be in there. It's one of the few shows that I would have liked to be like actually in the audience. I think the only other place, I know this is going to sound kind of silly and stupid, but growing up, uh, you know, Jerry Springer was very huge uh, as far as, you know, like it was just, you know, everywhere growing up. So like that was probably the only other place that I would have loved to be just like in the audience. I know it sounds silly, but uh, the Graham Norton show is just, it just seems like a very cool uh, chill uh, place to be so like to be in the audience would be a privilege so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed it those are my closing thoughts Rowan is always the man uh, definitely great to hear him in his story I can only imagine uh, the difficulties that could be faced where people are not recognizing you you know he has very distinct features so uh, you know <laughs> if getting these squinters and like you know you know, so and just staring at definitely gonna be like an awkward feeling. Uh, so yeah, you know, just have the yes sign. Uh, yes, it's me. Damn it. You know what? What have you had to do? Show the guy his freaking ID and shit. Uh, the guy probably would have still been annoyed. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Be safe, be well. See you next time. Peace.